Welcome back to Wolfenstein, The New Order. Before we go down here to the boss arena and fight the London Monitor, I just noticed something. Look over here. I think that's a joke from the level designers, probably. Um, <laughs> I mean, I can't think of more stereotypically Londonish things than the red phone booth and a double-decker bus. It's like, hmm, what makes London London? Yeah, these two things. Plop them down there. Yep, there we go. That's London. That must be a joke. Shit! Shit! The London Monitor is coming! Do you, Roger? This is trouble! Yeah, so we can't just shoot it generally, it's way too heavily armored, we gotta wait for weaknesses to appear. Taking a bit of damage when I stay out there for that long, but I think it's worth it to take out two of the rocket pods per cycle, rather than just one. Should speed things up a lot. Oh, right. So I don't think. Whoa, what the heck was that? <laughs> I don't think I actually have to destroy all the rocket pods to kill it. I think to kill it, I just need to get underneath it when the bottom opens. Um, but killing the rocket pods obviously will make it just safer in general, so maybe I'll just take all the rock pods out. I'm pretty close anyway. Okay. That's cool. It shot through its leg so I couldn't even hit its eye because it was blocked by its own leg. I think you can blow up those machine guns. Probably not really worth it though. I think they also might come back. Okay. No more rockets. Let's try to get underneath it. Right 
crap, crap, crap. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Nice landing. I wish you could have seen the ski to dawn. I wanted to take you there. There's the invincible gentle giant troop showing its head. Shrapnel came from.
Those grenades did nothing. Those are the people we rescued from the, uh, the labor camp. Or... Did we rescue both of them or one of them and reunite them? I forgot which, but yeah. Here's where we finally get to go in here. Never could break that before. Heard you coming, man. So happy I got to like see you again, actually. Blue-eyed, jarhead patriot that you are. You're the only other guitar man I know, man. I'm on the move. I need to find Wyatt and Caroline. Wish you'd come with me. Uh, kind of on the spot, you know. <laughs> Pretty well cornered by the man, actually. I appreciate the offer and all, but you know I've been on the run my whole life. So sick of the silence. I figure when I'm gone, I'll be silent, you know, till the end of time. But this moment, right now, it's gonna be loud. end for that person. That character is so much more interesting than the other one in the other timeline. Hey Captain, I think there's a way to get to the hangar through one of the sewage tunnels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I thought you should know. Oh Christ, we've got a lot of heavies here. Okay, I'm thinking rockets from this thing or lasers from this thing are probably the best. For these heavies. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, I got flanked. Train number two. Um, let's just go straight for the rockets. Yeah, just two direct rockets? health regenerates to 20. Did I kill that heavy? Or the medium heavy one? I guess. thought I didn't. Oh, alright, we're good. Could 
really use some more health. We're just hiding there the whole time. Patient. This our helicopter. Maybe you can do something about this Nazi problem, sir. Try not to get Viet killed. He's out of ammo and essentially defenseless. Poor thing. I'm distracting the dog. No need to be snarky just because you finally got that crazy armor working. See Caroline's leg in the armor. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I remember when I was watching um, Adam Koble play through this. He had a lot of trouble with this sort of boss, I guess. It's, it's kind of like a mini boss, I guess. Yeah. It gets your teeth on you, you're dead. I think you gotta attract it through those, those holes, go underneath those holes where it gets kind of stuck in them. Yeah, these things. Oh god. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Nice. Those rockets are staggeringly powerful. Like, they don't look like they make very big explosions, but they do a lot of damage when you get direct hits on enemies. <laughs> look at that goofy grin. <laughs> Sometimes, truly, 
It's good to remember what you're fighting for. This is it. From what we know of Death's Head's compound, prisoners are kept on the lower levels, close to the experimental labs. It's a timing thing more than anything. We have the nuclear decryption keys now. We do a deep run entry, surface up close to the compound, and you take down the outer wall using the can and get inside the compound as fast as you can. Now they will return fire, so we gotta dive again before taking any serious damage. Then we sail the U-boat out to a safe distance. Then you're inside. Get down to the lower levels. Free the prisoners. We send in his helicopter. Once everyone is safely in the air, we prime the nuclear warheads, fire the atomic bombs, level the whole site. Wipe death set off the face of the earth. Be safe out there. Thanks, Mom. See you on the flip side, Captain. Max sauce. They just put duct tape over the holes in Max's sweater thing. Hope they put proper bandages on him. <laughs> God. They got shot at least three times. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.